what is up guys so today i'm going to be showing you how to make uh, your hi-hats more interesting how you can add a lot of character to them and overall just make your beats a lot better um, hi-hats are something that artists take a lot of notice at um, it's a kind of good way for artists to be able to tell if they're going to be able to ride the beat or not um, so it's really important when you're working on your hi-hats that you don't overdo them but at the same time you want to do enough to them that it provides them with enough character um, that it's intriguing to the air, ear and provides a lot of bounce. So uh, here's what I have so far, it's just a basic melody. <laughs> One thing that you can do to make your hi-hats uh, sound a little bit better, um, one thing I do is when you pop a hi-hat into here, let me just delete this real quick. When you pop a hi-hat into your step sequencer, when you first pop it in, the out knob is going to be all the way down, and that's what your hi-hat's going to sound like. What you want to do is you want to tighten it up. It's going to get rid of a lot of that extra noise that comes out in uh, the hi-hat when you start playing it in your beat. So what I do most of the time, sometimes you don't have to raise it all the way on this particular hi-hat. See how much tighter that sounds, listen to the difference. Just way tighter, it's a lot, a lot better sounding. So now that I've done that, um, one thing a lot of people do when they start off a beat is uh, they'll just go and they'll hit two steps. And that's not always terrible, but one fun thing that I like to do that gives a lot of character is um, what I do is I go and I hit fill each four steps. And then what I'll do is I'll go in here and I'll grab all of these and just shift them over. And then what I do, if you're on Windows, you hit Alt and you scroll your mouse down and it lowers the velocity. And what that does, it's gonna make your uh, hi-hats sound a lot bouncier, so listen to it. Do you hear that difference? So here's before. And here's after. Hear how much more that's driving? It's just, it's adding a lot of energy to the beat. It's adding a lot of bounce. Once you add a kick and a snare in, it's gonna sound great. So let's do that. Let's pop a kick and a snare in here. And I'm actually going to turn my fruity limiter off and throw a soft clipper on. Let me grab a snare here. Um, there we go. So let's get this kick pattern drawn in here. Alright, so once you have your kick pattern drawn in here, um, one thing I like to do just for uh, visual sake, um, I'll hit Command A, and what I'll do is I'll actually raise my kick up or down by one, that way I can see it, all these, uh, all these ghost notes here, I'll be able to see it when I go over to my hi-hat channel. So let's go over there, see now I can see where my kicks are, and what I like to do is 
every time there's a kick, I'll add a hi-hat roll. So go ahead and make that one legato and chop it up. There we go. I'll, I couldn't remember the shortcut for it. So see, there's a kick there and a kick there. What I'm going to do is control L both of these, make them long. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop them both up. And this is kind of up to your creative discretion, how you want to chop these up. Um, there's no really right or wrong, wrong way to do it. And you don't even have to chop them up like that. You can just do like this. You can go up here to the magnet. I like to go to one six step and then just copy and paste these and make cool rolls from that. And then once you have a good pattern there, um, you can honestly just copy and paste it over. Um, repetition is kind of key. Everyone thinks you got to have these long eight bar hi-hat patterns that are just out of control and crazy. Um, and I definitely disagree. I think the more consistent your rhythm is throughout your beat, um, obviously you can throw in variation here and there, but the more consistency that you have, um, I think it gives the listener and the rapper more of a chance to really ride the beat and find lock into that pocket. Um, so once you have that done, so notice how it's kind of just going constantly. It's just constantly. Um, you don't really get a break from that. That's almost, uh, a bad thing obviously sprinkling that in throughout your song um, is is nice but I think giving a break and uh, giving the beat room to breathe uh, creates a lot of character so let's kind of get rid of some of these and, and see how it sounds And boom, there you go. I mean, you you just do that, and it automatically gives your your beat room to breathe. Um, listen to the drum pattern now. I mean, I just think that sounds way better than just having the constant. And then if you want to have that available to add in later on, what you can do is you can honestly just clone this track, go in here and click fill each four steps and do the same thing from the beginning. Just copy and paste like that. And then boom, you've got it. And you can just drop it in when you split by pattern later on. opinion that sounds way better um, this has kind of just been a quick quick little tutorial on how to add a lot of character to your hi-hats um, 
So to just kind of go over everything that we, we covered, um, the in and out knob, uh, very important. You can really tighten up the sound of your hi-hats really easily. Um, another thing you can do, uh, I showed you the velocity trick with filling each four, going back in here, copy and pasting, and then just tweaking the velocities down here. Um, and then also chopping up your hi-hats uh, on the kicks is very important. I think that's the best kind of method to follow uh, when you're trying to make interesting hi-hat patterns. Um, and then also, instead of having the constant every two steps uh, hi-hat, cutting some out every now and then and giving, giving the hi-hats room to breathe a little bit. This has been a really quick tutorial on how to um, kind of add some character to your hi-hats. If you've learned anything, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, really helps me out a lot. So thanks, guys. Uh, I'll be back next week with another video. Peace.